Hey everyone, and welcome back to Passion for Life Gallery. Behind me is one of the most well-known landmarks here in Loja, Ecuador. You can find pictures and paintings of this structure all over the city and in pretty much every website that features the city of Loja. And as you can see, it is a very unusual building. It looks kind of like a medieval castle. It's called the Puerta de la Ciudad, or the city gate. But why was it built? Why does it look like that? And most importantly, what's inside it? We're gonna answer all of those questions and much, much more in this edition of Passion for Life Gallery Presents. So the answer to that first question actually begins here, a few blocks away, at the Iglesia de San Francisco, and this statue behind me. This is Spanish Field Marshal Alonso de Mercadillo, and he is generally credited with founding the Immaculate Conception of Loja, as it is officially called, in 1548. He named Loja after his hometown in Spain. Mercadillo was one of the first to discover rich gold deposits in the Amazon regions of Ecuador and Peru. And he was evidently known for his quick temper and colorful vocabulary. In his first expedition, his own men rebelled against him and returned him in chains to be tried by the Holy Inquisition for cursing and blasphemy. Fortunately for him and for the city of Loja, perhaps they did not charge him. One of the reasons he established Loja was to have a fortified city from which he and other conquistadors could go forth and explore the Amazon basin in search of the ever-elusive city of gold, El Dorado. But why did he establish a city here in this location? For the answer to that question, we need to return back to the city gate and to this statue. The statue behind me is of Don Juan de Salinas de Loyola, another of the Spanish conquistadors. But more on him in a minute. First, we need to look at a plaque that is on the bottom of this statue. It says that from the 16th century, the shortest route from the Pacific Ocean to the Amazon basin was through what is now known as the provinces of Loja and Zamora in Ecuador and the Senepa district in Peru. This route connected with the westernmost point of the Marañón River that could be navigated. And from there they could connect to the Amazon River itself. And hence, a fortified city was necessary on this route from which to part for the Amazon. But now let's return to the man depicted in this statue, Don Juan de Salinas de Loyola. Don Juan de Salinas de Loyola had many claims to fame. He was with Cortes in the conquest of the Aztecs in Mexico. He was present during the capture and death of the last Incan emperor, Atahualpa. He founded many cities in the Amazon basin in Ecuador and Peru, including Loja along with Mercadillo. You will also note the indigenous people in tow alongside and behind Senor Loyola. Is this also a monument to them? We'll talk a bit more about that at the end of this video. But for now you may ask, what has this got to do with the city gate? We're going to answer that question right now. Well, that brings us to this inscription on the wall of this building. It refers to the bestowing of a coat of arms on the city of Loja. It also states that this gate was constructed as a replica of the gate depicted in that coat of arms, open, it says, to the conquest of El Dorado. So in honor of the services Loja performed in the interest of the Spanish crown, King Felipe II in 1571 
granted this city its own coat of arms. This coat of arms, or escudo, shield, as it is called here in Spanish, shows conquistadors marching from the city gate of Loja on their way, no doubt, to the Amazon. Are the figures in this coat of arms meant to represent Loyola and Mercadillo, perhaps? That I can't say. However, you can clearly see the gate with its tower. So from that coat of arms comes this representation, the Puerta de la Ciudad. However, if we look more closely at the other plaques on the statue of Senor Loyola, we will see another reason, another motivation for the creation of this monument. In this first, it mentions that as the original governor of parts of what are now Ecuador and Peru, Loyola's accomplishment of solidarity in these regions is one of the objectives of the peace agreement. What peace agreement? The peace agreement between Ecuador and Peru, which was negotiated in 1998 after many years of conflict. The second plaque notes the first anniversary of the above mentioned peace treaty. So here we have this city gate erected as a monument to the historic past and to what everyone here hopes is a peaceful and prosperous future. But why, you might ask, does it look like something from Disneyland? Well, it was supposed to be constructed based on the architecture of the time period, that is to say, the 15th century. Now, I'm definitely not an expert on 15th century Spanish architecture. If, however, we compare this structure to, for example, the new castle of Manzanares el Real, which was erected in the 15th century in Spain, we do see some resemblance. You will also see some similarity in this structure, the Templar's castle of Ponferrada, constructed in the 12th century. And finally, in this structure of the Church of the Immaculate Conception in Sierra de Iaguas, built in 1559, we see some similarity in the bell tower to the bell tower of this city gate. So if they were trying to copy 15th century Spanish architecture, specifically that of castles, they got a lot of the features right. Personally, I think every city should have its own 15th century castle. Don't you agree? But this is not just a castle. It has a ship, it has a bridge, it has several galleries, it has two restaurants. So let's have a look and see what else this wonderful monument contains. Among other things, we can note the Bolivar Bridge over the Malacatos River, with its sign over the gateway announcing the founding of the Immaculate Conception of the city of Loja. We also note here the statues of Don Quixote and his sidekick Sancho Panza from the famous novel by Miguel de Cervantes. We also have a statue inspired by Auguste Rodin's The Thinker. And we also have the sails from what we can assume is a Spanish carabela at the intersection of the Malacatos and Zamora rivers. A fitting symbol, no doubt, of the adventuresome spirit of the Spaniards. But this place is so much more than just a monument. It has at least three galleries, two restaurants, and is used for public events throughout the week in this city. So let's now take a look inside and see what this monument, this Puerta de la Ciudad, has to offer. This smallest of the three galleries is on the west side and is next to a small coffee shop. This gallery and the one above it on the second floor are the principal galleries in this monument.
Traveling presentations by national and international artists have been held here. Since its construction in 1998, this castle has been the meeting point for both locals and visitors alike. You can see also the beautiful views, not only from the tower itself, but also from the balconies. Its architecture, art, and local crafts make it one of the most visited places in Loja. In fact, according to the Municipal Tourism Unit, 150 to 200 people visit this site daily. That is, of course, in non-COVID times. I did not count how many stairs there are from the ground floor to the top of the tower, but I am sure there are quite a few. The view from the tower is well worth the effort. So we hope you have enjoyed this brief tour of the Puerta de la Ciudad, the gate of the city, and some of its interesting history as well. I would like to note, finally, that not everyone was on board with the construction of this monument. While to many it represents the glorious colonial past with its conquest and adventure, to others it represents the subjugation of the indigenous people of this continent. As was noted by the author Giovanni Salazar, if the indigenous element does appear, it is only as a guide in the trips to the Amazon or as mere beasts of burden to the Spanish colonizers. Whether you agree or disagree with this sentiment, we can all agree that this monument does indeed represent a colorful and interesting history, not only of Loja, but of the entire continent. So thanks again for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this on Passion for Life Gallery, all you have to do is hit the like button and share this video with someone who you think would really enjoy it. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again on Passion for Life Gallery.